Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Number of Provinces. This is from Leak Code 75 and the entire playlist is linked down below if you do want to check it out. So what are we being asked? There are n cities. Some of them are connected while some are not. If city A is directly connected with city B and city B is connected directly with city C, then city A is connected indirectly with city C. A province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other cities outside of the group. You are given an n by n matrix is connected, where is connected of ij equals 1 if the ith city and the jth city are directly connected, and is connected of ij equals 0 otherwise. Return the total number of provinces. Example 1, we have 1, 2, and 3. These are our three cities. So city 1, we want to see all the connections. We see, of course, 1 is going to be connected with itself. City 1 is also directly connected with city 2, which means city 2 needs to reflect that connection. And over here, we see city 2 is connected with itself right over here. And city 2 is also connected with city 1. And neither of these cities, 1 or 2, have a connection with 3 for that third spot. And if we look at our third city over here, 1, 2, 3, it's only connected with itself. So this is a connected city, it's one province, and this is province number 2 for a total of 2. Example two, we have three cities, and if you can see, they are all only connected to themselves. City one is connected to one, two is connected to two, and three is connected to three, which means they are all individual, and we have three provinces in total. We also have some constraints here. Feel free to pause and read through it. Like always, we're going to start off with some examples. I have some cities over here, one to nine, and all of their connections listed in this matrix over here. We know in our matrix is connected. Every single row is going to represent every city. So we have cities one through nine and every column within that row is going to represent whether our city is connected to that city in our column. For example, in row one, we have city one and we want to see what city one is connected to. We know city one is, of course, connected to itself and city two is also directly connected to city two, which is why in that second place there is a one. There is a connection right over here. And for city nine, we see in the seventh, eighth, and ninth place, there are all ones, which means there's a connection for all three of those cities. Now, if we wanna find out the number of provinces, how are we gonna do that? There are two ways to do that. We could do a breadth first search or a depth first search. This is just a graph problem. We wanna traverse all of our nodes, see which are all connected directly or indirectly. So say we wanna do a DFS, how would that look like? What we want to do is start looping through all of our cities. So we're going to start off with city one. We want to see everything it's connected to. We see, of course, it's connected to itself and it's also connected to city two. So now we're going to go to city two. We see it's connected to one, but we were just at one. And in order to avoid duplicate operations and repeats of what we've already seen, we're actually going to maintain every city we've already visited. And that's going to be in a set. So we're going to have a visited set that's going to store all the cities we've seen. At this point, we've seen one and we've seen two. So at two, since one is already in our set, we're not going to go back to it. We go to our own value. We see that connection right over here, but we're also in our set. So we're not going to go to it. The next connection is three. So we're going to jump to three. And the first thing we always do is add ourselves to the visited set once we go there. So at three, we see we're connected to two, which is already in the set, so we don't want to go back. And of course, we're connected to ourselves as well, but we're already in the visited set, so we're not going to go into our own value either. And there's nothing else for us to really branch out from no other nodes that we're connected to, which means we can't really continue traveling from node three, and we want to go back to node two and finish all the connections from there instead. So at node two, the only other connection left to visit is node four. As soon as we get to node four, we add it to our set and see everything else we can branch out from here. Now for four, we know we already visited two, but we haven't visited five. So now we're going to go to five and see all the connections we can make for five. At five, we add ourselves to visited. The only other connection is to four, which we've already seen. So there's nothing else we can do. So we exit out from five, exit out from four, go back to two. And four was two's last connection to explore. So we're done with two as well, which means we're back to one. And one didn't have any other connection besides two, which means we're done with this entire province that we want to check. All these nodes are part of the same province. So as of right now, we have one province in total. Remember, we were looping through from one to nine. 
this all started at one. We still have to go from two to nine. So we're going to go to two, but we see we're already in that visited set, which means we already explored all the nodes part of the province of two. We can skip two, that means. We skip two, we go to three, we see the same thing, we go to four, it's in here, and we see it in five as well. Once we get to six, we're not in this set, which means we're starting a new province. So province count is going to go up to two, and we're going to add six to our visited set. Now, looping through everything that six is connected to, we see six isn't connected to anything, so there's nothing to branch out from, and we're done with six as well. Then we go to seven, increase our province count, add it to our visited set, and see everything it's connected to. It's connected to eight, so we're gonna go there, and eight's connected to nine, so we go to nine. Nine's connected to seven and eight, which we've already visited. Nothing to really go out from for a nine, we've already visited everything, same with eight, and same with seven. So we would have three total provinces, right? And this is all we really need to do. So first, what we're gonna do is loop through all of our cities. So say n is the number of cities we have. n equals a length of is connected a for i in range n. So we're looping through all of our cities one through nine. We only want to visit city i if it's not already a city we've seen, which means we are also going to need to initialize a visited set. So solf dot visited is going to be a set and if I not in solve.visited, that means we are starting a new province. So we're also going to initialize province to be zero. And in here, we increment the count of province. So province plus equals one. Now, since we are starting a new province, we wanna explore as far out we can from that city we're on. So we're gonna be writing a helper function to do our DFS traversal. So we're gonna call DFS with the city that we are on, which is I. And we're gonna be writing our DFS function over here within this larger function. So we don't need to keep passing in is connected or visited. We have all of these being global variables. So for the function, we're gonna call this DFS and it's only gonna take in the city that we are on. The first thing we do for our function is add our city to the visited set. So solf.visited.add city I. Now we wanna loop through all the cities that I is connected to. So for j in range of n, so i is the city we are on, and j is going to represent all the cities we're checking for connections. Now, if i j of our matrix, so if is connected of i j is 1, that means there is a connection. And in Python, 1 means true, so we can just write if is connected i j. So if this is true, if this is 1, and j is not already in our visited set, so and j not in solf.visited. Remember, we want to jump to that city. So we're just going to call DFS with j now. So it's going to be DFS with j. And in the end, all we have to do is return. And this is it for our DFS function. Now, once we go through our entire loop calling DFS where necessary, we're just going to return the number of provinces we were able to make. So return province. And that's it. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity, for time, we are going to be looping through all of our row and column indices, and we are given an n by n matrix. So this is going to be an n squared function. And for space, our recursive call stack could go as deep as the number of nodes if every single node is connected. So it's going to be O of n for space. And before leaving, let's just do a super quick example to see how our code is working line by line. Say we have the following example, we have cities one through six, and these are the connections, very similar to the example we were using in the beginning. We have our is connected matrix over here, and we're just gonna go in this function going line by line. The first thing we do is define our DFS function. Then we initialize province self.visited and n. So province is zero, visited is a set, and n is the length of is connected, which is six. We have six cities we're working with. Now we're gonna be looping through for i in range n, i is going to be starting off at zero, but over here, index zero is actually going to be city one. So for consistency and visualization purposes, we're gonna say i is going to be one. For i in range n, so we're starting off with our very first index over here, city one. i is technically going to be index zero, but since it's our first city, we're gonna say it's one to represent city one. So we have i being one and we're in this for loop. Now, if I not in solf.visited, that's true, nothing's in here yet. We're gonna add one count to province. We're starting a new province. 
and we're going to call DFS with I. So now we go in this function over here and pass in one. We're in DFS, I equals one. The first thing we do is add two visited I, which is one. Now we're going to be looping through for J in range N. We're going to start off with J being one. To recap, I is over here and J right now is going to be this first index over here. We're looping through, we start off here and we're checking if is connected of I, J, which means is this one and J not in self.visited. Well, we're at one over here, city one, and this is in our visited set. So we're not going in this if condition, we go back in our for loop. We move down and now we come across city two. It's not in our visited set. So we're calling DFS with J, which means before we can return that first call of DFS with one, we now have to call it with value two. So we're back in DFS, we're at two, and we wanna add it to our visited set. Two has been added to our visited set, and now we're gonna loop through for all the values in two. So we have a new J for J in range N. We're checking if is connected of IJ is going to be one. Right now I is two, J is one. This is one, but one is in our visited set. So we don't go in this if condition, we go back in our loop. We come across two, again, it's in our visited set. We go back in our loop. We come across city three. It's not in our visited set, so we're going to call DFS with three, which means we're in this node now. We go back in here, add this to our visited. The first city we come across is one and is connected of IJ is not one. So we don't go in this if condition. We go back in this loop. The next city we're checking, this is one, but J is in visited, right? Two is in visited. So we don't go in this if, go back in the loop. We come across three. Again, this is in visited. We can't do anything. Go back in the loop. And the rest of these are all zero. So is connected IJ is going to be zero and it's going to be false, which means we go out of this for loop and we just return, which means we're done with node three and we return to our caller, which was node two. Now for two, we had stopped in our for loop to go jump into city three. We finished city three and we're going to continue with our loop and go to city four. Is connected of two and four is one. There is a connection over here and four is not in visited. So we're calling DFS with four. So we call in DFS, I, and this point equals four. We add this to visited and we're just looping through again, right? This is zero, city two has been in visited, three is zero, four is in visited, five is not zero and it's not in visited. So we're gonna jump to five, which means we're in this node again, we call DFS, we add it to visited, we loop through five, we have zero, zero, zero. We have city four, it's in visited, we have city five, also in visited, we go to six, it's zero, and we're out of this for loop. Once we're out of this for loop, all we have to do is return. So we're done checking everything we can from five. There's nothing else to branch out from. So we go back up our recursive call stack and we go to node four. Now node four, we had just finished going in this check over here for city five, continue our loop onwards, and we have no connection with city six, which means there's really nothing else to branch out to from four, and we're done with four as well. And four had been called from two, right? When we were checking city four and two, this connection over here. So we continue going down two. We'd already checked one, two, three, four. There's nothing to check with two and five. And there's also nothing to check between two and six. So we're out of this for loop and we return to our caller. Now our caller was city one over here. We just went in two. We're gonna keep going down, but we're gonna see these are all zeros. So we're just gonna go in this for loop and return out of here as well. Now that we've returned from city one, remember we had called it over here. We go back in this for loop. So we had just finished I being that first city. We're now going to go to I being two. Over here, we see I is in visited. So we can't go in this if condition. We just go in this for loop, go to our next city. So we go to three. Again, we've already seen everything in this province. We exit out. We go to four. It's in visited. Five visited. We're at six and it's not in visited. So now we're gonna up that province count to be two and we're calling DFS with city six. Passing in six over here, we added two visited and we wanna loop through every city that six is connected to. Now six is not connected to anything but itself. So once we come across six, we see it's in already visited. We're not gonna be doing anything over here and we just return out of here. So this means we're done with this for loop now as well. And we just have to return province. And we see that province was two, which is what our output should be. We have two provinces over here and that's exactly what we were expecting. So we just went ahead and solved the number of provinces. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, let me know down below, I'll answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.